channel, The Baking Diva, and I'm here with my little girl, um, my 14-week-old cockapoo named Cinnamon. And if you go back over my last three videos, I'll show you the, the different progression of her each week we had her. Um, when we got her, she was five and a half pounds. Whoops, <laughs> what are you doing? I took her to the vet yesterday, here, and she's eight pounds now. She's not going to be a big dog. Um, she has one blue eye and one black eye. But let me tell you, week four, a lot of changes. First of all, I'm going to put some clips in so you'll see them. I don't want to go over them all now, but I will tell you, she is the chewer of all chewers. And that means objects and people. <laughs> I know she's a puppy, right? What's this? Look at the look at everybody over there. I know she's a puppy and she's teething, but those little teeth are like needles. They hurt. She digs in the dirt, big holes outside. She escapes and goes under furniture. What else does she do? So many things. But I'd rather wait and show you in the video what this little munchkin's been up to. I will tell you, if you're gonna get a puppy, I hope you have a lot of energy because mine's fading fast. Be prepared to get up very early in the morning. Make sure they get a lot of naps because they get overexcited without their naps. She is a cutie, but she's a lot of work. So stay tuned so you can see what little Cinnamon's been up to the last week. Okay, and if you enjoy this, I don't just always do cinnamon on there. I do baking and special events and reviews. <laughs> so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Hit that subscribe. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Right, Cinnamon? Look at you really like that. That was collagen and salmon. Wow, you're going to be very um, more energetic than you are. Okay, so get up here. We can say goodbye to all the people. Say bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you later. Stay tuned so you can see all the little clips of the mischief I've been into, right? Okay, stay tuned. Here's my girl, little Cinnamon. She's resting on the sofa. She had a very trying day. She went to the vet today, and guess how much she weighs? <gasps> eight pounds and when we got her she was five and a half pounds right cinnamon well she got some shots today and boy did she yelp did you yelp when you got those shots did you yelp veterinarian gave her a shot first of like i think a steroid so she wouldn't be in as much pain as she was last time when she got her shots but it really wiped her out. Look at her. She's tired. She's been tired since we got home. But the doctor said she's doing very, very well. Right? Right, Cinnamon? He said you're doing very, very well. But your biting and nipping on everything and everybody is a little out of control. But you do still have your puppy teeth. So hopefully when the puppy teeth come out soon, she's her eyes are closed, it won't be as bad. But meanwhile, we have to reprimand you because you're biting everybody's ankles and their clothes and their socks and it's not much fun. Okay, little girl, I'll let you go to bed now. Go night night. I'll see you later. Our, oh, I forgot to show you the little sweaters I got for the little girl. I wasn't sure what size to buy because when we bought her harness, we took her to the store and tried it on, and we had to get her extra small. So I went to Home Goods and I was looking for, I don't know, a sweater for her, something she could wear when it's cold out, or even for Halloween. So let me show you what I found. Now I bought small. But if it doesn't fit, um, I'll return it. Isn't this cute? I guess she's supposed to be a little, what, elf maybe? A little elf costume? And in the back, her two front paws go through here. And uh, I thought it was cute. 
but I didn't have her with me, so I couldn't measure. But anyway, it has little bells on it. And if it doesn't fit her, I'll return it and I'll get a different size. But I thought that was cute. And the other one I bought her was the same size. I bought her small. This one has uh, a reindeer on it. Oh, it has a little bone. It says Barkley and Finn. That must be the name brand of it. Um, they were both $12.99 in home goods. They had all kinds of raincoats and vests and jackets and all. Um, but they didn't have too many Halloween costumes for dogs. So I picked up these. Now, um, in a little while, I'm going to have to try them on her and see if they fit her. But I wanted to show them to you. Sammy, look. Look at your new sweaters. La, 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 la. Look at your little sweaters. Look. Oh, look at what we bought you. Isn't that cute? Woo! And look at this one. You got a little reindeer. Look at that. Oh, don't eat that. You going to eat the reindeer's nose? No. No. Okay, down. <laughs> See you later. Oh my God. This is pathetic. I'm trying to see if the sweater fits her. Where's your other boy? Let's see. I think maybe we're going to get you a medium, but maybe not. Let's get you a... Oh, well, there you go. No way. Here. Turn around and show everybody in the back. I think this is... You are right. Let's put you down, see what you think. Can you walk in it? Oh, that's plenty big for you. Cinnamon! <laughs> Cinnamon! Come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> that fits you. You want a treat? Let me get you a treat. <laughs> and it has buttons. It's big enough. Oh. You look so cute. You're going to be warm outside. Let's take your feet out. Oh, don't <laughs> oh, Let's take your feet out. Oh, Woo! Let's take this foot out. Where's your foot? Woo! Take your foot out of there. Now we gotta take your head out. Ready? Set? Woo! That was easy. Get down. Oh <laughs> the other one will fit her. And look what I bought the baby for Christmas. It's her own stocking with her name on it. Has little bones. And two little dog ears on the top. Isn't that cute? Do you think she's spoiled? I think so too. But she's my baby. She's the only little girl in this house besides me. Okay, be right back. <laughs> Here's the crate that Cinnamon sleeps in at night. I have it in my room and it blends in with my bedroom set. I ended up getting it off of Facebook Marketplace for half the price. It was brand new and still in the box. There's the little girl. She's not afraid of the Zumba. No, she's not. She thinks it's a toy. She chases it all around the house. <laughs> I've rearranged this room a dozen times. We have the family room downstairs, but until she's trained, she's not allowed down there. So we have her kind of combined, fine to this family room. Uh, because I'm not too concerned when she chews things. I mean, I don't like it, but trying to uh, teach her. But um, at least she can run around in here. So she's not afraid of the Zumba. But here's my problem over here. Look at these boxes. I've had to block off my parrot peewee's cage because she wants, peewee climbs down and then the door goes there and jumps up and I'm just afraid one of them's going to get hurt. And peewee has a big beak so if she sticks her little beak through there she can get the little one's nose or vice versa. Now she's, now she, what are you doing? Now she's trying to eat my pajamas. This is just, woo, here comes. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. Yes, this uh, fourth week with her has been trying. Very, very tired, exhausted. I don't know. She sees the vet tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that he's going to tell me that things are going to get better. Because uh, all I wanted was a cute little puppy that I could have on my lap and 
would be company for me. And she's a wild one. Yep, she is. <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with in week four. She's watching the Roomba go by. I think she got tired of chasing it. Now she's playing with her toys and just keeping her eye on it. <laughs> Whee! Look where I found the little one resting now. I mean, can you honestly believe it? She's in the corner where the Roomba is charging. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. And she's going to sleep on it. I'll tell you, she is a character. There's little Cinnamon. She loves her little lick mat. I put a little bit of peanut butter on it. And it keeps her busy. Oh, there's a sock she plays with. There's her kibble and her drink. Cinnamon, is that good? Oh, I guess so. Is that good? Say yes, Mommy. Mmm. I went downstairs to get something and I came up and this one had climbed into a basket that did have a blanket in it, but we stored all our mini bags of, of chips in there. Oh my God, this is a good one. Let me take her out. Cinnamon, 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 <laughs> cinnamon. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in there. Oh, help me. All I can say is this bully stick that Cinnamon is chewing on, well, they are a lifesaver. She still has her puppy teeth and um, she's little. It lasts a long time, but um, it does deter her from some of the nipping and biting on our ankles and uh, hands and other things. So if you have a puppy who likes to um, nip and chew on everything, definitely get these bully sticks. Um, they're not rawhide. And like I say, if you have a little dog, they'll last a long time. I wish I had known that weeks ago. Have fun with your bully stick. <laughs> Here she is ringing the bells on the door. Boy, she learned that fast. And she does it quite often. So sometimes I'm not sure. I'm coming, I'm coming, let's go. I'm not sure, look, here's your bell. Not sure if she has to go or she just wants to play. But you can't take your chances. So let me take her out. Wee wee, ring the bell. <gasps> Yay, good girl, ring, ring, ring your bell. Now you're not ringing it because I'm filming you. Are you playing with a toy? Make up your mind. Oh, now you have my boots. I have a feeling this is going to be a heck of a day. <laughs> yes, I do. Wait till all my subscribers see. The terror you have become. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. You want to try it again? Go ahead. Here, move. Move. We're going to go outside again? Okay, here we go. Going outside again. This is the jar of very tiny, tiny dog biscuits that I keep near the door on the table. So when she comes in, after she's rang the bell, she gets a little treat. However, it's happening so much, and even though these biscuits are small, I'm starting to break them in half. I don't want her to OD on treats. Look at her. We gave her a little freedom and she went into the other room and she took Scott's shoe and she's running around with his shoe. Oh my goodness. Give me that shoe. What are you doing? Don't ruin the shoes. Don't ruin the shoes. She's a shoe. <laughs> she's a shoe. And a sock girl. Oh, come on. Cinnamon, what are you doing? No, no, no. Give me that shoe. Here she goes. Whoa, where you go? The shoe's bigger than you. 
Where are you going? Oh my goodness. What a handful. It's only, what, 7.30 in the morning? Oh, and there's her sock. Oh, yes. What are you doing with the shoe? No, no, no. Hey, give me that shoe. Give me that shoe. Give me that shoe. You can't eat everybody's shoes. No. Okay. Well, someone gave me the idea that I should freeze a carrot and give it to her to chew on, and it would make her gums feel better. Well, I did that. I put the carrot in the freezer last night. There she is over there. And um, guess what? <laughs> She's afraid of the carrot. She doesn't want to chew it. She left it there and went over there to get her bully stick, if you can see her. So I have to work with her a little on this, but I thought she was going to love it, but she I, she's afraid of it. So more to come. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I cut the carrot and made it a little smaller. But you know what? She's not having it. So I, I really don't get it. I know that she has some carrots in her food. Cinnamon, come over here. What a disappointment. <laughs> What a disappointment. Where's your carrot? No, she's over there. Too busy. Ah, ringing the bell. She wants to go out again. <sighs> okay. I took little tiny pieces off the carrot and I fed it to her. So, I know she likes carrots. Although, let me see. Is she eating it or spitting it out? Here's your carrot. Let's try again. Here you go. Let's try it again. Want to eat the carrot? I don't want my carrot to be a failure. Come on, cinnamon. Here, look. You like carrots. More to follow. Well, here she is over here. She has the bully stick. And the carrot. And as you can see, she has no interest in that carrot at all. So, <laughs> we'll see. More to come. There she goes. More digging. Can you believe this? We just came back from the vet. When we got her, she was five and a half pounds, and now she's eight. Eight pounds. She looks bigger, but she has so much um, fur on her. But, uh... This digging business is making me crazy. I saw this on the internet somewhere and I thought it was cute and I'd uh, post it for you. If you like, pause it and read it, otherwise you can skip over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all very soon. Love you. Take care. Toodles.